Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Outstanding. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today, we have a beer that I uh, picked up on my vacation to New Jersey from the Kane Brewing Company. Now they're located in Ocean, New Jersey, and this is the Box IPA. That's what it says here, the Box IPA. Checks in at 6.8% alcohol by volume, and the date stamp indicates it's 88 days old, which is right where we want to be. We don't want it to be any older than that. And it is my fault because these beers have been in my fridge for quite some time since I returned. Uh, it's been almost 60 days. So, yeah, this beer was relatively fresh when I purchased it and just didn't have time to drink them. So here we are. Now, it didn't say on here that this was a New England style IPA. So I do see it's poured slightly hazy, only slightly. It's got lightly carbonation rushing up from the bottom, though. Oh, my gosh. Woo. They didn't say anything about a tropical fruit bomb on the can there. But I'm picking up some lovely orange peel. Ooh, that smells good. And some passion fruit for sure. That's passion fruit. Oh, it smells really, really good. This is a 16-ounce can. And today we're using our Spieglau IPA glassware. I've said many times before, this is beautiful glassware. But if you have pets, curious pets or curious kids, Keep an eye on this glass where it's extremely thin walled and it will break. I broke one. I had a set of four, now I have three. And my other glassware from Libby, I had a set of four, gave two away, broke one, so now I'm down to one and I don't see where those are available anymore. So, hey, yeah, yeah that's what happens. Mm, man, the aromas on this are just lovely now. Uh, it's made a beautiful orange color here, slightly hazy, not, not anything crazy, slightly hazy. And it's made a very a fluffy type of foam here, or head if you prefer. It's not going to last. It's, uh, it's very light body. It's not going to last. I want to thank the brewers there in Ocean, New Jersey at Cane Brewery for all the hard work they do, brewing their batches and bringing them to market. Guys like me can enjoy them all the way here in Ohio. Thank you so much. Cheers to them. Cheers to your own for watching. Ma'am, this is a surprising beer. And I say surprising in that I was not expecting a tropical fruit bomb. I was expecting a regular old IPA, just kind of like a West Coast style IPA, but that's not what this is. Very pleasantly surprised, though. It uh, it tastes really, really good. Yeah. I would describe this as a light-bodied beer with medium carbonation, and it would be lovely all by itself. Now, if you want to pair it with foods, uh, a light sandwich, a light salad, nothing real heavy. Uh, I would put this with roast beef or a steak or anything like that. This would be a good aperitif or digestif. Either one. Let's get all that liquid loveliness in there. Came right to the top. How about that? Now that's how you want the beer poured at the bar right there. You don't want that beer right up to the rim. Unless you really, are you, are you that much of a cheapskate really that you need that extra ounce and a half? want to see how lovely the beer looks if you don't then you're why are you in a craft beer bar if you if you just want beer you know go down to the local tavern where they have those specials on happy hour where you get a 20 ouncer for a buck that's the beer for you <laughs> yeah not this beer oh man that that you very not very often do you get a beer that has this kind of pungent aroma to it i i can get that aroma right here I don't have to get it up to my face, but man, the closer you get, the better it smells, I'm telling you.
Yeah, this is not your granddaddy's beer. Yeah, back in the day, they just drank those beers. They drank the cheapest beer they could find. I remember my grandfather used to drink that. Uh, uh, oh, I just forgot it that quick. It's not Stroh's. Uh, Old Milwaukee. Old Milwaukee. It was a buck sixty-seven for a six-pack. Now, yeah, we're talking a long time ago. This is back in the nineteen sixties. Yeah, buck sixty-seven. I remember. Well, I don't know why I remember that. It was a buck sixty-seven for a six-pack. That's some cheap beer. It's still pretty cheap. Old Milwaukee's still cheap. <laughs> yeah. Now it's a thirty-pack for what? I don't know, twelve bucks. <laughs> hey, I'm not ripping on Old Milwaukee. If that's what you're drinking, that's what you like. Cheers to you. Like I said, this beer would be a good digestive or aperitif. Either way, man. But I would pair it with light foods. I wouldn't put any any heavy foods with this because it's going to take away from the pleasure of the beer. But again, this is from the Kane Brewing Company in Ocean, New Jersey. Right here it is. The Box IPA. Yeah, it's pretty darn good. It's, uh, it's quite drinkable indeed. I'd recommend it if you can find it. I have no idea what their distribution network is. I know I can't get it here in Ohio. But anyway, life is short. Be happy. Try different beers. All right. That's what Dr. Dave says. Until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers.